First opened in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. Over the middle here to Brown. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. A run by Pacheco on second down. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they get five there on third and two. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Dancing away at the 35. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Rice. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 21. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Mahomes firing complete. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco from 21 yards away. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. That's what it is. That's what it is, 
What's the deal? Let's do it with you. Let's do it with you. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Avery Williams. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. Well, there you go. They gave up a score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. This will be caught once again by Brown. Four yards the pick up, first down. Mahomes quickly complete out wide. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll make it second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. On play action, it's Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 39. 23 yards the pick up there. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. 
Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Falcons ready to take over. Cousins on first down. Complete to Drake London. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Now Cousins. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A quick throw here out wide to Pitts. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And it is caught. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. Boy, that was pretty. Sidestepping defenders on his way to a pickup of nine yards. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Cousins. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. out of the gun. Cousins. Now he's got it. Touchdown! John L. Mooney from 13 yards out. And the Falcons have taken the lead. A nice connection there finding his target and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. A 
Oh, a good look in return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Chiefs. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. These two teams all tied after one. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Here's third and six as they've got it as we resume action. On third down, Cousins. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now a man who did his collegiate punting just a couple hours from here in Clemson in South Carolina, Bradley Pinion to kick. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, they go with a slant that time, 15 yards at a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. 
found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. They'll be caught by Rice. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 32-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now Gray. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. you got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. Second and goal from the one. Here's Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From out of his end zone, it's Avery Williams. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Throwing, Cousins. Complete to Mooney on the slant. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off the play fake, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Robinson up the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there at a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Cousins now from the 50. And that went to the right side and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw, Cousins. Short throw caught by Pitts. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Play fake. Cousins. And the Chiefs are going to get him. George Karloftis coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Well, it's always easy to second guess a call, but maybe he should have just handed it off here on third and short instead of keeping it on a play action pass attempt. Now it's fourth and long and just gave the defense a lot of momentum to build on for the next series. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game. In this case, yeah, not, the case. not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Throw left side, completion to Rice. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Mahomes now to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. Mahomes to throw once more. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Cousins now. And his throw is incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. To throw is Cousins. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This time they stay on the ground and they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. That's pulled in at the 32. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Well, the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Now a third and six. Now Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This taken in at the goal line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Second and nine. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Cousins. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's taken to the 26. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And they will take over first and 10. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Well, that one caught by Rice. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so wisely just gets rid of it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Falcon football. On first and 10, Cousins. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. 
And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Second down and a run by Robinson. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Throwing his cousins. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. A throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Cousins to throw it. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Jarnell Mooney with his second touchdown of the night. And the Falcons are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this, we know where we are, but sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Pacheco once again. And he's got a run. And they've got it well across. 
across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 34 yards there and a first down. Every team in the league always wants explosive plays, breakout plays, and even more so when it's your horse who's had a tough time during the game. Yeah, not that great in the first half. Maybe he can recalibrate here in the third and then carry that over to the fourth. I like that. Recalibrate. Strong. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. On first down, Mahomes. A quick throw there is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved it. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have taken a two-touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Falcons offense set to go. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 57 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to Robinson now on first down. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside. They... And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. 
That was Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To throw, Cousins. The race is on. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. A big pickup of 38. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Cousins. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Robinson. And Robinson will not get there. Great defense at the point of attack to stop him short of the first. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I know they're going through all the possibilities right now, but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do him a ton of good. It'd still be a two-score game, so to me, go for it. Go for it boldly. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. I would think as a play caller, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. That is caught, and he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. 59 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 20-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. A run by Pacheco on second down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. He's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Butker's kick here is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 28, it's second and five. Now Cousins. Toward the sideline, a 
and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, Cousins throw into the hands of Pitts here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. This is second and eight. Working out of the gun, Cousins. That's complete to Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away and he's going to be taken down back around the 35 yard line Trent McDuffie getting the chance to blitz and finishing it off with his sack Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. That's going to be caught by Pitts. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a ways to go though. He's got his target, that's complete. And that's a touchdown, but hold on, there is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken at about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. 
We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in place, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Again, it's Pacheco, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Now second and five. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. So Kirk Cousins in the offense. Down by seven. A little under a minute to go. Staring them in the face is the need to go 97 yards. No easy task as they come up on first and ten. Now Cousins. He's got Mooney. And they'll get him down past the 15. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and 10. Cousins throw taken in by London. And quickly another first down, but tackled inbounds. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Here's first and 10. Here's Cousins. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Cousins to throw. And the Chiefs are going to get him. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.
So that'll just about do it for Charles Day.